guys, welcome back. Earlier on I mentioned that the Living Seas team and myself would be showing off some of our swaps we're going to be taking this July to cut out single use plastic. So I can start us off. My main goal is that I really want to stop consuming food in single use packaging that I can easily make myself at home. For example, I'm a big fan of hummus. But I hate the build up of the packaging that's only used for a week or less. So for example, these tubs, these just build up really quickly or at least they do in my house anyway. So to combat this, throughout July, I'm gonna gather recipes for food I can easily make from the comfort of my own home and get to work here in my own kitchen. So I hope this will make me a little bit more financially savvy while also cutting down on any of this unnecessary packaging. Now I'm gonna hand over to the rest of the team who are gonna fill you in on all their swaps. Hi everybody, uh, my name is Heidi and welcome to my bathroom. If any of your makeup wears, then this plastic swap might be for you. Um, at the end of every day, I'm taking my makeup off with these disposable cotton pads that come in a non-recyclable plastic sleeve. Uh, so to stop purchasing these, I have replaced them with these reusable cotton pads. Um, these are great because once you use them to take your makeup off, you just pop them in the washing machine and you can reuse them over and over again. Um, so no more purchasing of anything in uh, single-use non-recyclable plastic. And the good thing about these is once they've come to the end of their life, so you've used them a few hundred times, you can send it back to the company and they will recycle the fabric. Hi, I'm Nisha and I'm part of the Living Seas team with Ulster Wildlife and I'm going to be attempting this plastic free July challenge. I'm going to be using the no poo method on my hair uh, because I'm kind of sick of plastic shampoo bottles building up in my house. So the no poo method, you would use either just water to wash your hair or a mixture of baking soda to wash it and then an apple cider vinegar rinse thing to condition your hair. So for my hair wash method, um, there can be two ways that you use the baking soda. I'm going to be using the paste method where you take a small container with your baking soda, use about a tablespoon once your hair is wet and uh, massage it into your scalp and then you follow that up with an apple cider vinegar rinse. Uh, so that's where you mix the vinegar with water and store in a spray bottle or a squirt bottle. The ratio I used uh, was the recommended one part vinegar to three parts water and you spray that on your hair generously focusing on the ends and then let it stay for a minute or two then rinse it out. So this is the finished product. Um, overall I'm pretty pleased. Um, it still has the same sort of curly texture that my hair is supposed to have and it looks the same. There's no sort of strong vinegar smell which I was kind of concerned about and uh, the apple cider vinegar made my hair feel really silky. Uh, so I was pleased with it as a conditioner. Uh, the only bad thing is a sort of towards the root, it feels kind of sticky and tacky. Uh, so maybe I didn't incorporate the baking powder as well. Uh, we'll see how it lasts uh, until next week. So I'm going to attempt my second no poo wash today and using the two different methods. So I'll be trying the spray method with baking soda today. For the baking soda spray, put it into a plastic squeeze bottle to sort of squirt over and I'm going to attempt to use it like down to the halfway mark and then rinse out and then use it again sort of like uh, uh, when they tell you to wash, rinse, then repeat in normal shampoo methods and then I've got the apple cider vinegar and water mix inside jars, uh, glass jars, to so sort of split it in hair in half and soak because then you know that it's gotten all of the hair because I haven't found like a jar that's big enough to contain 500 mils of water. So I'm washing my hair. So this is after the spray method and it actually feels a lot better than the last time. The roots aren't feeling as sticky and the curves are actually a better set. So I'm really happy with it, glad I tried it and now is the perfect time to try because you're in lockdown. If your hair doesn't turn out that great, at least you don't have to go outside. Hi, I'm Bex and my plastic swap for Go Plastic Free July is for plastic bags. So a lot of supermarkets now offer the thicker bags for life, which are generally made from recycled plastic. And when they do rip, they'll take the bags back and put them back into a recycling process. 
But I find that generally when this does happen and the bag rips, it happens to one bag at a time and you normally don't hold on to them and run up to the supermarket for a single bag and they can just end up going into the bin. It's also still keeping plastic in our system, so if you're wanting to go plastic free for July, a better option is just to keep a hold of some cardboard boxes that might be coming through with any deliveries at the minute. Um, you can cut the lids off them to make them a bit more open and just keep a few in your boot. And these can be filled directly from the trolley when you come out of the supermarket. And I find they're actually a little bit easier for carrying heavier things back into the house. And you can also use some natural fibre bags like cotton bags. Um, these are really easy to pick up at the minute and generally don't cost too much money. I got this one free in a recent online order. Um, but for Go Plastic Free July, I'm going to try and get a bit crafty um, and see what I can create for free. So I have an old t-shirt, t-shirt from an old student project that I did, which I really love, um, but I just never wear it. And I'm going to use some online free advice about how to turn this into a cotton shopping bag. And I'm also going to try and get back into a hobby that I haven't done for years, which is knitting. So there's lots of free patterns online about how you can make your own mesh bags for carrying vegetables and fruit as well. Hi, I'm Christine and I'm part of the Live and Seas team at Ulster Wildlife. Uh, to reduce our use of plastics, we've made a swap from buying uh, milk and juice in plastic bottles to these cardboard containers. Uh, these cardboard containers have the FSC label, which means they come from a sustainable forestry. Um, and they're also um, fully recyclable. Um, because these containers are flat-sided, it means that in their transport and distribution, there's no gaps between the containers. So it's also more efficient. Hey guys, if you think about doing plastic free July, here's a couple of things you could have to think about next time you're done the shops. Fruit and veg bag, net, not plastic. Uh, throw your stuff in it in the shops and put it in the cupboard when you get home. Something else could be reusable sandwich bags instead of the blue ones. Uh, they look very cool, plus you can stick them in the dishwasher to clean them. And last but not least, metal straws, uh, not plastic, not paper. You can also put these in the dishwasher, plus you can clean yourself by hand if you want. Hi everyone, my name's Olivia and I drink a lot of tea throughout the day. So my plastic swap is going to be switching from tea bags to loose tea. What some of you may not know is that tea bags can consist of up to 25% of specialist plastic. So loose tea is a great alternative. Amazing. Thanks so much guys. All those ideas are incredible. And I love how they incorporate savvy tips to reduce plastic throughout the house. So from cleaning products, we had hair care products in there and stuff for heading out and about as well. So amazing, all great stuff. I hope you've been inspired today to take part in Go Plastic Free July. We'll be sharing our tips and tricks throughout the month. But as I mentioned earlier, we also want to hear from you. So please tag us with the hashtag Go Plastic Free July and tag Ulster Wildlife as well. We hope by the end of this month, some of these small steps will stick and our reliance on single use will lift with less of this single use plastic going through our daily routine straight into the ocean. So thank you so much for tuning in today and I hope to hear from you all soon. And remember to stay tuned for more information throughout July, including all of the ways you can get involved in stopping problematic plastic from entering our seas.